Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Forward Escape the Fold, a card-based, kind of iffy, I'll explain why, roguelike dungeon crawler RPG, kind of a minimalist, bite-sized take on the genre, which is something I'm always interested in seeing more of. Everything is going to be visualized using cards, but it's not going to be a deck builder, to make that clear. So it's a card game... Kind of, but not really. Like, people who don't like card games, give this a shot. It's more a dungeon crawler than anything. Let's check it out here for part of the Steam Next Fest. So the game is still in development, but you will find in this demo all of my intentions for the final version. Thanks to all the people who supported the project on Kickstarter. Let's pop on in. Profile name? Uh, it's me. Let's go! Okay. Huge collection for a demo. If all that stuff is in there. Definitely going to go for some tutorial action, discover the game, and learn the basic rules. Let's go for it. Welcome to your first game of Forward. Your goal is to beat this dungeon by moving from card to card. At the bottom, you'll find your character's card. The cards you move on will have different effects. In front of you is a shield card. You can click on it to see its effect. Give you two armor. Good news, it'll give you two armor durability. This will be useful to defend yourself against enemies. Move your character onto the shield card to gain two armor durability. Uh, click and drag. Oh wait, that feels nice. Oh, <laughs> I know that shouldn't feel. I know that shouldn't be that big of a deal, but that felt really nice. That click and drag there. Here is where you can find your HP. It must always remain above zero, otherwise you lose the game. There, armor will take damage before your HP is depleted, and there is no limit to your shield durability. It seems there's gold coins in front of you. Move your character onto the gold to loot it. Whoop. Okay, you entered the field of vision of an enemy, so they attacked you. Inflicted, it in, inflicted. It inflicted five damage. You lost your two armor durability and three HP. Enemies will always attack if you move in front of them. It's up to you to be careful not to be seen. Be aware, however, that enemies you defeat will leave behind rewards for you to loot. Here, they left you a gold coin card. Move on to the one of the cards near you. You can only reach cards that are in direct contact with you. Plan your moves accordingly. So we can't move... Wait, that are in direct contact? This is not in direct contact. So, like, I, I... I see. So I can't move, like, all the way over here. If I moved here, then I would get the potion, and then I would take the hit. But then I would theoretically do damage right back. What is this? Pillar of Fire inflicts two damage to enemies in play. Costs five mana points. You need five mana points to use this power. I saw that there were seven different characters and over like a hundred different detailed cards. So that seems quite neat. Uh, very, very neat. In addition to the fact that, yeah, I just, I, I followed, I believe I followed the dev on Twitter because I saw uh, the pixel art. I just really think is quite, quite good. I don't know, man. Um, so what happens here? If we do this, do we attack before they do? Is that... No, we, we do have to go with the whole kit and caboodle. A mana potion has just appeared. Mana is a resource that allows you to use your special power. I, I actually already did. Powers have more powerful effects, but require mana to be used. Up to you to decide what time is right. Go for that. Go for the shield. Up to five. An item card has appeared. Click to see what passive effect it gives. Try to reach it to add it to your inventory and get its effect. Click your character and the inventory to see your equipped items. Through your journey, you'll discover many different items. Collect and stack. Some items are rarer and more powerful than others. They can change a game and your strategy. Reduce the cost of your power by one mana point. I mean, sounds good. I feel like let's just dodge this guy for now. Okay. So we have... Where do we see our mana? We have two mana. Interesting. We can go over here, get the shield, and dodge. But that's the thing. We could also... Do I want three gold coins? Or, you know what? Let's go for the mana potion, and we'll take no damage anyways. He dropped the shield. You will bleed. A powerful enemy has just appeared. It's a boss. Boss cards are marked with a crown. At the end of each dungeon, you'll meet a boss that'll let you have to defeat. Always plan to keep your health and armor as high as possible in anticipation of this fight. It's up to you to defeat the boss. I mean, I don't really... I don't have much that I can... 
particularly uh, change there because it was a pretty straightforward scripted little <laughs> little thing there. But I'm excited to see when I have more player autonomy how difficult and versatile things can be. Let us pop on in. Escape the fold. Spotted walking along a deserted road. You find yourself in front of a huge hole about 10 meters in diameter. You bend down to observe and see many monsters coming out at full speed. You are spotted. Hungry! Okay. Alright, step one. I think I want to get mana. I would like to get our power, you know? We're going to take a little bit of a hit. So he didn't drop... Do they drop the stuff behind them? Is that how it works? Poison. It gives you poison times two. That seems like a big nope. Healing potion. So I feel like we take, we step on it, we heal, and then we take the damage. Cursed chest forces you to choose a cursed item. I kind of want to do that out of just pure curiosity. Okay, so it does indeed happen like that. Okay, pure curiosity. I'm, I'm a I'm a curious boy. Adds three poison cards in all the next levels. Okay. When an enemy attacks you, they have a 25% chance to inflict poison three. Oh, okay. So these are literally... These are not, like, a good item that has a bad downside as well. This is just, like, pick one curse, quite literally. This corrupted card has a negative effect. Unless, maybe there's something we could utilize the poison for. Who knows? I'll take this, because... Oh, we have to... Oh, okay. I actually kind of like that, that they make you draw, like, drag and drop your character onto those spots there. I'm gonna go for the potion, go up to the left side. Free money. Okay, three mana to use our ability. I'm doing it. Okay. So do we get the jump? We don't get the jump on him or anything by doing that. Hungry? I understand. So we can block that. We're good there. Okay, so what do we have here? You're immune to poison. As long as you have stealth, gives plus one to gold coins. Improves the effect of greed. Grants you plus one to gold coins card. Do I have greed? Oh, apple heals you for five HP when you're starting a level. Okay. I feel like... Let's go with immune to poison. That's the first thing that I see, like, a very clear, logical idea. Managed to escape from the disgusting monster by hiding behind a dead tree. Only now do you notice that the ground at your feet is an object that might interest you. When you attack, an enemy deals equal damage to the one behind them. Absolutely. Why would I not want that? Terrifying hissing sound gets louder and louder after a few seconds you find the source of the noise. A snake, like you've never seen before. Not about to let you go peacefully. You will bleed. Alright. Um, hot take. If we went over here... We could... Uh, probably kill this back there too. Two for the price of one. But this is a net gain in health, which I feel like I can't pass up. Yeah, let's get let's get our armor stacked up. Three mana. We have our power now stacked up as well. Three gold potion. So how much damage do we do? Like, what's up with that? How much? Like. There's no, there's no actual damage that we do. It's just, do we survive their damage? Is that... Am I right there? So... When you attack an enemy, deals equal damage to the one behind. Ah, I didn't attack an enemy, though. Gotcha. I didn't attack it by doing that. Do we use our power? Because two damage... How much health? How much health do you have? I do you do do you have four health? Is that is it like that straightforward or? It is indeed. Okay, so that it's their health and their damage. Gotcha. 
It's their health and their damage. So we can do damage to them to make it so they do less damage to us. Okay. That was a risky one. We got armor, which protection one gives one armor durability after each move for 10 moves. Healing root. The next poison card you pick up will not apply poison. That I actually don't really need to go out of my way for that. Hardly a big deal. I probably shouldn't have. Oh, God. You will bleed? You're right. I, I actually die here then. Rip. Entirely fair. Entirely fair. It is neat, though. Yeah, it's like... A... Okay, so I believe that we probably don't get to choose our character in the demo here. Monster Lake, you sit on the edge of a black lake, but you notice something stirring at the bottom of the body of water. Suddenly, a giant snake emerges and attacks you. Hello. All right, so... Obviously, we're going to take that. We're not immune to poison anymore. The closest comparison for something I have right now in my head is... Um, Ring of Pain, which is the game I love, obviously. Like, I, I love that game. I do wish the en enemies had, like, more unique effects to them, though. Because there's so many cool, different-looking enemies. Um... I'm actually going to go this way so we can go shield. Well, actually, we don't need the potion, then. I'll kill. So if I jump on them to kill them, I don't get the loot, though. That seems to truly be the thing. I don't really want the cursed chest. This is, uh, this is brutal. I was hoping you would drop something cool. So we kind of want that. That's, that's, it's interesting. We want them to attack us. We get more if that's the case. The next sword card you pick up will deal twice as much damage. I've never picked up a sword card. Any healing potion card gives you greed one. Adds one gold coin in all the next levels. Okay. So when we pick up a potion, we get more money for a bit. You arrive at the edge of a small lake where the air is pure. It's perfectly round. Appearance makes you think that it's not natural. You feel drawn to it and receive its benefits as you dive in. One max health or four health. Oh, I'm going crazy. Let's go. Go big, go home. The corridors of the mansion are haunted. That's for sure. Your worries are, are realized when a dark specter appears before you and orders you to leave the premises. It's out of the question. I'll devour your dreams and your soul. Okay, I was really hoping we could really stack up. Stack up healing. Okay, we're going to fight this so that we can go for the shield, health potion, shield. I don't want the poison. Okay, what do you got for me? So it's like, it's there's it's a lot of inherent risk reward though. Because it's like, how much do I want to go for this the gold? Do I think I can handle it? So we go here, we do that, we can tank them. I go for this. Oh, merchant chest, though. Allows you to buy items for gold. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Kind of like this. It's fine, it's fine. Get the money, and we can scoot right past that one. Ten, we actually can handle this. Nice. All right. All right. All right. All poison cards inflict two damage to nearby enemies. See, there we go. There's a reason to have poison. That's, I guess that's why the enemies don't have too much going on. It, it really lets you, as the player, have all of the agency. I'm, I am definitely curious to see how the challenge goes. Or if it really... Because there, there's something to be said for a minimalist approach of it just being... How do you get yourself to handle all the numbers coming in? Like, how do you manage your resources appropriately? When can you take risks to, to get money so you can improve your chances? Like, there, there's something very much to be said for that. Reduces your power cost by one mana. Um, maybe. I've not seen a sword pickup yet. I've not seen one. 
Ugly creatures, if you take a path that winds through the valley, you are targeted by a group of hideous creatures. There's no other option but to fight them. Hungry! So we kind of want it, like, let me get the mana. Oh, now we have to get the poison. Uh-oh. Vitality Blade. Replace all healing potions with swords cards in all of the next levels. Curious. The purchase price of cards is increased by five, eight gold coins. Wait, what? The purchase price of cards is increased by eight gold coins. Why, though? I'll take Poison Dagger, because I think it might be immediately relevant. Okay. All Poison cards inflict two damage to nearby enemies. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just see what he drops. Oof! Fine. Danger. Danger. Dodge, dodge, dodge. It's only invisible enemies, right? Enemies in play. I don't think... I think that these are the ones that are in play. So I kind of want to wait until the boss shows its ugly face. Rough stuff. Okay. Let's go! That was too close for me, though. That was too close for me. Greed 2 after being attacked by an enemy. When you lose greed, you trigger your power if possible. Um, That seems really good. That seems really good. New card unlocked. Nut! Oh, we don't even have all the cards. Okay. All right, I was going to say, it feels like I'm seeing a decent amount of uh, repeats. But if we have a new card unlocked, that could definitely be where things start to get spicy. Glittering chest, you discover a cross in the ground. While digging, you find a golden chest filled with sparkling objects. Uh. In the heart of the web, along the winding path, an army of spiders blocks your way, sprays you with their web. You manage to get out of the way and move forward, ready to fight their queen. I will devour you. All right. Uh, yikes. So my greed should wear off there. Greed should wear off again. Okay. Potion, please. It's, it's a potion, but it's, it has to be a health potion. I gotcha. Sword. Inflicts three damage to all enemies in play. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, we're at least doing lots of... Okay, so the power didn't wear off then, though. So heal. Step on this damage. Oh, the damage happens after then. Interesting. We were able to stock enough up here to handle it. All right. Okay. Okay. This is, yeah, this is interesting. It's, it is indeed like a bite sized minimalist kind of a take, but there is enough going on kind of in the deck, like the build. I, I guess this doesn't, this doesn't qualify it as a deck builder. It, it, it's not calling itself one. It says card based. And again, yes, technically kind of sort of a little bit, but not also really at all. I just know that when I was playing Ring of Pain, everybody would be like, God, I, I this game looks cool, but I, I'm not going to play it because I hate deck builders. And this game is not a deck builder. You're being manipulated by rectangles, if you think so. <laughs> it's just... Imagine instead of square tiles, you know? That's really all that matters. Uh, when your armor runs out of durability, inflicts one damage to all enemies in play. Could be fun. 
Increase the chance of rare and legendary. I, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pick that because I want to see rare and legendaries. Solitary and itinerant me merchant befriends you with her frankness. She's accompanied by her camel carrying a large quantity of very diverse objects. You decide to take a look at them. Adds three cursed chest cards. There's got to be a reason for that to be good. Gain three gold coins to start a level. You receive one HP when you receive a new status. I could see that being good. And sure, let's have a little faith in myself. But considering we have the poison blade, we could pick up the poison and then do damage. Um, but yeah, like you could see how we could get the poison dagger and the immune to um, poison thing. And we can just step on those poison cards for free damage. Okay, Disgusting Vile, an elder, or elderly woman appears on your way and offers you a drink. You inspect the Disgusting Vile and decide to refuse it politely. The woman in anger transforms herself into an abominable creature and tells you, Death is the gift I offer you. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Let's go through the AoE blast there. Okay. Oh, God. Have a little faith. What do you got for me? Meh. Ooh, what do I do here? Do I... Ex that extends my... Mm. I'll go here. It's, I know it's a lot of damage. Oh, we got burnt by that moment for sure. What do you got? Health or something? Shield? I think we might be on our way out of here. Well. Okay, I'm not dead right now. Uh. <sighs> okay. Take the four. Tank. Or do we lose one? This opens up an option. Maybe we'll get something cool. Nope. All right, merch. Oh, the, the health there. Gold coins have a 20% chance to heal you by 1 HP. You're immune to blindness. I'll take that. Oh my god, that, that counted as movement? That counted as movement! Oh! Terrifying. <laughs> There's team protection too. When being attacked by an enemy. I'll say the quality of life of all this click clack, all this business. I, I believe the developer of this game used to like. This is not a mobile game to make to make that clear. Like it's something that actually would work really well as one, but as far as I'm aware, is is not available anywhere on mobile or anything, or it maybe will be in the future. But it's very clear, like, from because there's one thing that good mobile games do right. It's good real estate usage and good uh, conveyance of information because you have a lot less, you have a lot more constraints. So using this system and having everything come up, the way that everything's coming up, the, the minimalist um, UI and everything like that is very clear. Uh, clearly from somebody who has made a lot of good mobile games. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes sense to me. All right. Uh, Increases the chance that enemy loot is gold coins. No, all healing potions can cure you of blindness. I've not been blinded yet. No longer see the value of cards. That is terrifying. But I am going to go for this. I am very afraid that we're going to die. Enter an abandoned watchtower, hoping to find a comfortable place to spend the night. At the top, you arrive in a large treasure room, unfortunately guarded by a powerful enemy. Oh my. Stealth 2 when starting a level. I don't really want that as long as you have stealth 
gives you plus one to gold coins. So these can stack. Oh, I'm dead. I died. I died here. I guess the armor durability saved me. Somehow the armor durability saved me there. A healthy diet. A goblin spots you and heads towards you. He doesn't want to. Doesn't have time to take two steps before his head tor is torn off by the powerful jaws of Cerberus, the three-headed dog. You're next on his list. I will crush you. I love that. All right. Um. Greed up. Let's get this then. Are you not gonna attack me? I have Stell. That's what stealth does. Gotcha. I'm definitely going to go for the six there. We should do the AoE. Good. Hot take. Let's skip it. Okay. Huh. I feel like we're falling behind, though, if we skip too many enemies. I'll allow it. Nope. Okay. The poison does work. Uh, does work for us. Oh, I actually meant for the healing potion, but this is fine. I will crush you. We actually should handle him just fine. Nice. Good, good, good. Another... Oh, we can get another apple. Stealth one after being attacked by an enemy. I do like this spear. I liked, I liked it conceptually. A demonic smell that you know well invades your nostrils. The guardian of the fold appears. Beware, he seems particularly powerful. Finally we meet. Will you only get to me? Uh, maybe. Ooh! Okay, so yeah, I got you. We only did the one. That makes sense. That makes sense. Should be doing two to everybody there. That'd be a kill of both, so it's worth it. Only be one. Gotcha. Oh, huge. Hmm. It only does three, though. Armor four gives you protection four. I'm still not sure. One armor durability. I mean, it sounds, sounds nice. Sounds really nice. Uh. Boy. Don't love, don't love that for me. New achievement unlocked. I'll take it. Thank you. Stack it up. All right. Oh, you nerd. You're nothing. You're nothing. Oh my God, you were easy by comparison. When attacking an enemy, you get a gold coin. Grade two after being attacked by an enemy. Adds a chest card for every corrupted item in your inventory. Do I have that? I don't think I have. I don't think I have one. I think that was last time. Sure. New card unlock. Prior to enemy attacks, you have a 50% chance of, of inflicting one damage if you don't have armor? Huh. Okay. You receive immunity until the end of the game. Cannot have any other status effect as long as you have this one. I mean, that's a rare or a, a, an epic or whatever. 
Your route leads you to a large establishment where many people are chatting. It's a tavern. You decide to take a break to eat and rest. I... Okay. With the demon dead, you move towards what seems to be a bright ray of light. You smell fresh air and feel overwhelming sense of freedom. It is at this moment that you realize the demon rises and inflicts you a powerful blow. A last effort. You force me to go to the next level. Die! <laughs> Alrighty. I'll take two. Oh, I have stealth! Uh, this doesn't count as an attack, does it? Most certainly does not. Okay. How much money do I have? I've got... I have 42 bucks. That should be enough to get something cool. When you use your power, you inflict one damage to all enemies in play and, re and receive blindness three. Oh. Uh, that was very cool. When you buy a card, you get greed three. Gives you one posh. Gives plus one to posh cards for every. I don't want blindness. Not right now. Okay. I really wish we could have jumped on him directly. Oh, nice! That was huge. That was a huge get. Okay, merchant chest. Merchant chest or shield? Uh, I'm going to go merchant chest so we can jump on the guys to the left there. After being attacked by a boss, you gain as many gold coins as you have HP left. Uh, it's, it's like, doesn't really... Doesn't really matter if this is the last level, but hey, I'll take it. So that should be a kill back there. Didn't go quite how I wanted, though. Ooh. Okay. That. Did we do the damage? We did. Shield. Attack and kill behind. How'd it go? No, not so great. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think we might have. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Hey, punk. Hey, punk. Get wrecked. Receive 100 more damage during a level. Hey, hey. If you have less than 4 HP left after being attacked, you trigger your power. That's very cool. All right. Ranked 16. <laughs> All right. Well, last you know. Very cool. Very, very cool. All this stuff is in the demo, too. Very, very neat. Is there an ability to classic challenges? Experts? Yeah, there's a bunch more that's going to be in the actual full... Ah! Select a character and power. So we have... We could pick between these. Shuffle all cards in play. It does not affect your boss. Okay. Gain stealth three. Very neat. And yeah, there is that all them boys. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go for this. I'll check it out. Gain stealth. Elderly woman, hello. Death is the gift I offer you. You could really, like, speed through here. What? Oh, you attack to a, an angle. Wait. They know... Wait. This mysterious Black Knight inspires both rage and fear. They know how to use strength and cunning to attack their enemies. So yeah, why are you... You're attacking... You're attacking at an angle. These guys weren't attacking at angles before, were they? Is that because of my... Uh, my character is inspiring rage? And then we have to utilize the stealth accordingly? Yeah, that's... Interesting. Okay. Go up, we'll get the stealth, we'll get the shield. We are gonna get attacked. That's huh. Alright. If we're gonna be attacked no matter what, we might as well go in the middle there. 
Rage and fear. Are we being attacked by more enemies, but they're generally weaker? We should be fine. I don't know. I don't think it really does anything there. Get a random status attack after being attacked by an enemy. Any healing potions heal you from poison when your gold total is even. Reduces the price of purchases by three coins. Ah, the meat sounds interesting. A bright ray from the sky seems to touch the ground not far from you. It disappears as you approach it. Is at its location is an object. Plus one to sword cards. Sure, why not? You arrive in front of an altar that seems not to have seen a visitor for a long time. The inscription is engraved. Entrust to the gods your mortal blood and you will be honored. Okay. Uh, maybe. As long as you have stealth, give plus one to sword cards. I... No. I don't need any of that. You had an ominous voice says, I know everything. I see you. Go back. A horde of creatures then begins to attack you. Your soul will be extinguished. I see it. All right. We are you you might you might not be wrong. Stealthy. Poison dagger. I did like the poison dagger. Chest give you 3 gold coins. I am curious to unlock more cards and see how much that changes things too. Hmm. It's for every corrupted item in your inventory. I'm going to preemptively get that. If we could have perma stealth, that could be great. Okay, so that's when the stealth goes away. Gotcha. Does it stack? It does! Interesting. I've been confused. I hope that I beat you. I don't freaking know. Receive protection three when starting a level. One to poison cards for each corrupted item. Next sword card you pick up will do twice as much damage than this item is destroyed. Eh, I guess I'll go with shell. I'm not huge on that though. Foul smell fills your nostrils. Uh, have I read this one? Fills your nostrils as soon as the and, and soon after you find the source of the atrocity, a wave of hideous creatures drooling at the thought of devouring you. Yeah, we have. Okay, we have the protection. It seems like gives one armor durability after each move. Lasts for two moves. I feel like I should be able to understand what that's implying, but the phrasing on it is not too clear. Okay, so that should be a double trouble. Do we stealth this? We should have to. Okay. We got stealth, we can go there. Not too big of a deal. Just stealth on through the whole darn thing. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Map reveals the distance left before the end of the current level. Plus one to poison. I don't know, man. Shouldn't really matter. I feel like I kind of have a feel for it at this point anyways. Let's preemptively try and make this happen. Yeah. All right. Well, probably this will definitely be the last thing we do win or, win or lose here because uh, it seems like, yeah, maybe unlocking more cards. Uh, we'll see if in the uh, the full release if they have more, more at the start or something. If not, I would recommend that. I, I would recommend having a little bit more unlocked at the start because there's quite a few. I saw that, but they're just not unlocked. Over the last pass... With almost no energy left, you are trying to climb the last pass of a mountain when you see the glow of a house in the distance. As you approach, you are greeted by shepherds who invite you to follow them into their village. Take the opportunity to spend your gold coins. Oh, this is cool. Uh, 
don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, and if you go in one, you can't go in the next. Gotcha. Oh, this is cool. This is a very nice event. I didn't have enough money to make use of it, but that's a, I like that thematically. I'd say more more events and little bits in the middle um, thematically like that, utilizing the card the card layouts and everything like that a little bit more. I uh, I really like that's super nice. That I really like that. And the risk reward of if you go in one, you can't make it to the next, you know, so you have to kind of know what you want to do. That's really cool. I like that. I that really takes advantage of what this game is doing. Clouds of dust. The clouds of dust prevent you from distinguishing the enemies lurking in the shadows. They are surprise they surprise you as you were about to rest, but you have no choice but to tear them to pieces. Arr! Thanks, shield. I forgot that they were all going to attack me. I'm not going to deny. Okay. My stealth. I am. I am stealth. It says. I am no longer stealth. I don't like this, but I want the potion. Okay, well, rip. Oh, that's right, stealth. Stealth is actually a lot better than I was um, thinking. We are going to die here. Yeah. Here it comes. Am I stealthed? I am stealthed. Theoretically, I am stealthed. Oh, here it comes. Getting spooky. Potion, man. Goodbye, cruel world. Maybe I can just stand here forever. If I never move, I never die. That went, that got sour. What's coal ore? As long as you have blindness, minus, oh. That's cool. It does not apply to bosses. All right, well, alas, alas, that is that. And that's going to do it here for today. Uh, this has been Forward Escape the Fold. Uh, definitely not... You know, all right, well, let's just get over it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Divine Meat. Get a random status after being attacked by an enemy. Hammer. When you attack an enemy, deal one damage to all other enemies and play. That's so good. Yeah, it seems like you, you unlock things fast and loose. But, like, yeah, look at that. There's so many... So many different different unlocks in there. I, I It's great. And honestly, yeah, as, as uh, the game develops, I'm sure there will be, hopefully, theoretically more... Uh, but it is a nice, minimalist kind of bite-sized roguelike dungeon crawler. It is what it is. It's it's a very straightforward, streamlined game that you can go in, you can just play for, uh, you know, 15 minutes, complete potentially a run 50, in 15, 20 minutes. You could go really, really fast. You could take your time and plan it all out. It is, it's a nice, uh, simplistic, minimalist roguelike dungeon crawler is what i have to say uh i hope that you know like yeah I, I just hope that there are more more of the cards are in the starting unlock pool at the start otherwise i fear people will be turned off by it being too simple especially when we're not dealing with enemies having different effects and i understand that that was probably an intentional choice to keep things on in the streamlined kind of aspect um but yeah is this over the top wildly uh, uh, crazy complicated no but it's also not trying to be it's not trying to be this crazy deep thing it's supposed to be this how do you overcome this the the simple challenge how do you mitigate your rng of not knowing what comes up ahead and how can you how do you draft out a build that handles these rng situations and i think it's quite nice i, I think it's i think it's a promising little game here uh, I'm excited to see where they take this as it comes out. If you want to play this right now as part of the Steam Next Fest, there's a demo. Click the link at the top of the description. You can play it yourself. But, alas, if you like roguelikes, this is the channel for you. You're going to want to make sure you subscribe. Every single day, I upload a brand new video. Typically on a roguelike, I, I say I upload more than one video, but I upload a video on a new game every single day, and then I have a couple, two videos usually 
other videos where I'm checking out uh, a game that I did in this Let's Try series that I wanted to put more time into. So subscribe to the channel, check it out. You'll uh, you'll never run out of cool new games to check out. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.